Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Let me right click on the first page of HTML. Open it the Firefox. Let me right click once again on the first page of HTML. Open it the Impact to see the truth. Now I hope you guys have good understanding about tags. I hope you guys have understood how tags format the content on the browser. What are the different types of tags we have, and how they affect. Formatting of the web page. I am going to delete this content. File, save, go to browser and refresh. As we know about tag, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about attributes. Now, what are attributes? How they affect the formatting of the web page? Attributes are extra settings on the tag. You can say like attributes extend the capabilities of the tag. Let's understand here. I have a word pad open. I write something like this: H E A D I N G heading one. I have written here heading one. Now same thing. If I want to display on the browser, I can write heading one in the word pad. So here I can say H E A D I N G heading one. I can say file, save, go to browser and refresh. I got the heading one. If I want to display this text a little bit larger in size. I can do other tags. Maybe I can use the H1 tag, opening H1 tag, closing H1 tag, and file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that I got this heading one text. This text a little bit larger in size. So let's proceed further. I have this text heading one. You can see that by default it is left aligned. Align text to the left. You can see that. If I just click in front of this heading one and click on this button, center text, you can see that the heading one got displayed in the center of the page. Whereas if I click on this button, align text to the right, if I click on this, the heading one got displayed on the right side of this window. So we can align the text on the left, center, or right in this Word document. How can we do the same thing on the browser? Is it possible to display our heading one in the middle of the browser document, browser window? Is it possible to display this heading one aligned on the right side of the browser window? Yes, it is possible. There, we need to take the help of attributes. As I told that, attributes extend the capabilities of the tag. Let's understand how do we align this heading one left. Center and the right of the browser window. There is an attribute called as align, which you can write in the H1 opening tag. Attributes are usually written within the opening tag and after the name of the tag. So after this H1 tag, I can write an attribute called as A L I B N. Align. There is an align attribute. Okay, I have written after the tag name. I give us. I give us a space. Then I wrote the name of the attribute called as align. Then how do we put a value inside it? To put a value inside the align attribute, we are going to use equal to sign. And whatever the value that you want to assign to an attribute, you should write that value in double quotation. So here I have written the double quotation. In between this double quotation, I can give a value. I can give a value as center. This align attribute takes three different values: left, center, and right. Let's understand that. If I say now H1 align center, what happens is the browser will display the heading one in the middle, or I can say in the center of the browser window. Let's see that. Go to file, save, go to browser, and refresh. Look at that. Heading one is displayed now in the center. Of the browser window. If I want to display the same heading one on the right side of the browser window, what I have to do is I have to give the other value that is right R I T H T. So we are telling H1 align right. So this heading one text is going to be displayed as a H1 dash and aligned on the right side of the browser window. File, save, go to browser, refresh, check out that. We display the heading one on the right side of the browser window. By default, the align will be left. So, if I assign the value 
to align left and file, save, go to browser and refresh, check out that the heading 1 got displayed on the left side of the browser window. If you do not write this attribute, by default the x1 tag align attribute value will be left. File, save, go to browser, refresh, you can see that we don't find any change. So, you can use this attribute with the tag to enable more capabilities. File, save, go to browser, refresh. So, I hope you guys have understood how do we use the attribute, how do we assign a value to an attribute and where do we write an attribute, how it affects the formatting of the browser. In the next tutorial, we get more examples about attributes. You guys will understand in more detailed way how the attributes are used. So, hope you guys have understood and got a little bit information about attributes. For this tutorial, this was enough friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. For more benefits, please subscribe, like, comment and share. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding.